Good morning, for graders. I hope you had a great break. And today I'm going to explain to you specifically how to use the typing practice activities that I explained to you at the conference in Zoom and before the break. So the first thing that I'm going to, to ask you to do is to find or click SIGTEC. After that, click over login to typing.com. Here you will select the option that says login with Google. When you click it, it will take you to select uh, any other emails that you have in that computer or just the email of your school. So you will go, select it, and it will take you to the page where you are going to advance in typing. Uh, as your teacher, I will have the access to see how much you are advancing in typing. Yes, on top you are able to see your name because this is your account, yes? And as you observe, there are typing lessons by levels. So this is the beginner level, this is the intermediate, advanced, and many more. So we are going to start in, in, the, in the beginner level. And it says resume for me because I already started the first two activities, yes? But uh, today I'm going to do it again so you are able to see how to advance in typing.com today. So uh, the first one will ask you to practice J, F, and space keys. So remember to sit down correctly, straight, place your fingers correctly on the keyboard. Starting with your left hand and place your fingers one by one on the keys. We have done this in class. A, S, A, F, and the other hand, uh, semicolon L, K, J. So you keep your fingers over each one of the keys all the time. Yes. Right now I'm going to go to the first level and this is going to take you to a video. I am going to ask you to watch all of the videos because they will be explaining to you very important tips uh, related to the typing. All right. So it is very interesting to observe how cool these videos are. And the first one it's like an introduction. Yes. Of why is it important to practice typing skills? Yes. So watch it, please, because you will be able to open that link. Once you're ready, um, it lets you to continue. Don't skip it. You have to watch it. Then, look, it's telling you how to place your fingers, which is amazing. And right now, we are going to practice to find where is the J key. So you just have to type it and then press Enter. After that, it takes you to a first activity, which is very simple, but not that simple because you always keep the right position of the fingers. I never go just with one finger like this. Now, always as you observe on that picture, it's asking you to keep the position of your finger. And look, how is the feedback of, of this activity? It says that I did an excellent work. And it gave me the three stars. Yes, and it says you earn three out of three stars for accuracy. All right, also it's telling you how is your typing sitting, and you will be able to see the plant growing while you are advancing on the next activities. Also, it's telling you your speed. Your speed for this screen was eight words per minute with 100 of accuracy. So you could be improving this more and more, all right? Click on continue to go and do uh, the second one, which is the F. Enter. The first activity is very simple. And observe that I made a mistake because I didn't realize that it's combining the previous and this one. So be careful with that. It's okay. Mistakes. If you make mistakes, sometimes they are going to give you two stars. It's okay. No problem. It says that my speed improved. Your speed for this screen was 17 words per minute with 78, 87 of accuracy. It's fine, it's fine. You will continue like this, all right? So uh, what you are going to do is that you are going to send me the picture using the speaking tool in case you are using a computer of the last activity that you did in typing. And you take a picture of it, yes? So you select the screen, so I'm able to see how much you advance. Even though, as your teacher, I'm able 